2023 AMC 10A, problem number 17. Okay, so let A, B, C, D be a rectangle. So A, B, C, D, with A, B being 30, B, C being 28, P lies on B, C, and Q lies on C, D. And we want to figure out um, the perimeter of this triangle here. So let's call this X, let's call this side Y, let's call this side Z. So we want to find out what X plus Y plus Z is. And since this question says that all of the triangles formed here all have integer side lengths, uh, we can see that this is telling us to use Pythagorean triples, right? Let's call this A, let's call this B, and let's call this side length C. And this is just going to be 30 minus C, and this is going to be 28 here. The Pythagorean triples, since um, we know A squared plus Y squared, A squared, sorry, plus 30 squared equals Y squared, and B squared plus C squared equals Z squared. Uh, and we also want to find out what 30 minus C squared plus 28 squared equals X squared equals. So for Pythagorean triples, um, we have 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17, and 7, 24, 25, and we can keep on going down. So let's do a bit of guessing and checking. So for this triangle right here, so ABP, uh, let's see what this could be. So one side length has to be 30, right? So one has to be 30. So we could do, we could try this here. So 30, 40, 50, but then we can see this is too big. Um, so let's try this one here. So if we multiply this by six, so 30, we get 30. So 72, that's too big already. And since we know that A has to be less than 28 and Y has to be greater than 31. Well, 30, let's try this one right here. So that's 16, 30, 34. Oh, this might work. So we could let Y equals 34 and we could let A equals 16. So boom. Now let's try this triangle down here. Since A is 16, we know B equals 28 minus 16, which is 12 right here. So let's try another Pythagorean triple. And let me let me erase this real quick. Okay. So 12. So if, if we use this one right here, oh, we, if we use 5, 12, 13 right here, we could try this. So we let Z equals 13 and we let C equals 5. Then that means D has to be 25 and 28. And let's see if we could have any Pythagorean triples like this. Um, 25. So we have to make 25. So we could use this one right here, right? right multiply by 5. 15, 20, 25. That doesn't get us a 28 here, so it doesn't work. Can we make 25 any other way? Oh, 5, 12, 13, so let's try this one. But 25, um, 60, that's already too big. Um, so this doesn't work. So using 5, 12, 13 for our triple here, 5, 12, 13 doesn't get us a right answer. So let's go back. So we need to try out a different Pythagorean triple there instead. So if we don't use 5, 12, 13, what can it be? Uh, let's try uh, this one right here. So multiply by 3, so 9, 12, uh, 15. So this will be 15, and this will be 9 here. So then this means D would be uh, 30 minus 9, which is 21. So this side will be 21 right here. So 21, 28. So can we have 21, 28 and something? Uh, we can, right? 3, 4, 5. That works. So if we multiply everything by 7, 3 times 7 is 21. 4 times 7 is 28. 5 times 7 is going to be 35. So then X equals 35. So we can see that this question is just playing around with Pythagorean triples. So we have our answer X equals 35, Y equals 34, and we Z equals 15. And so we just add up all of these um, numbers and we will get our answer. So 35 plus 34 is 69 plus 15, which will be 84 or answer choice A. Boom.